Welcome to Gunpla Friday everybody. By now, everyone's talking about the Astray No Name Mobile Suit. And when we first saw it, we thought it kind of looked very familiar. And that's where our friend Zo uh, pointed it out that, hey, it kind of looks like Clint Eastwood from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. And we kind of agree. Um, basically, when you put it, the picture side by side, uh, so, you know, you see Clint Eastwood with his poncho on his left, but this is where Astray No Name has his poncho and also the rifle on his right. And if you look at the head design of the Astray No Name itself, I guess that's where the sharp tip protruding that's coming out that resembles the cowboy hat. So quite a nice design, uh, a bit of a nod to the old Western team, and that's actually you know, not too bad from Bandai. We quite like it, yeah. Also, really interestingly as well, this design of the mobile suit, where they decided to go with different colors for the uh, leg armors and also the shoulder armor. So you have red and white, and also black and white. It is also quite interesting. There must be um, some logic behind it. So I guess that's where you actually have to read up Gundam Ace magazine to find out the side story of Gundam Break, right? So Gundam Break will actually tell you what happened between these two guys, these two lead characters that actually helped evolve uh, Astray No Name into the main story of Gunpla Build Divers. So we thought that was actually um, quite interesting, but of course you have to buy the manga to find out how these two stories intersect back into the main story of Gunpla Build Divers. Now coming soon as well um, will be the no name raffle will be launched separately so you can actually buy this separately to customize your gunpla kit so we thought that's actually quite interesting because the price is actually very cheap it's only going for less than 1000 yen so i am sure that a lot of you will probably be buying a few of these to customize it to make your kit uh, stand out to have the nitro system versus the um, transarm system so uh, we'll be looking forward to your great customization in gunpla build um, Cup coming up very soon. Gunpla Build Divers Blu-ray box number one is coming out and packed with the Blu-ray itself is a special edition Double O Diver. So this Double O Diver is actually in transparent yellow and it's actually called Golden Sparkle. Uh, this is where of course when Riku put the mobile suit itself, the Gunpla kit itself onto the uh, GPD system. When it scans, you have that Golden Sparkle effect. And we do think that the kit actually looks uh, pretty decent, surprisingly, for the color. Imagine you have this kit at home and you have some lighting effects, uh, letting this kit up from the bottom. I think it looks very nice. And of course, together included with the uh, Blu-ray and also the kit is also a Cardes collection set number one for the Double Diver. Now before we talk about the next Gunpla release, let's talk about this. This is the Mobile Suit F89. This is the Crossbone Gundam Dust. This is a very classic looking mobile suit. If you don't really dig it, but let us know what you think. Uh, more interesting news is actually Bandai T's this picture. Um, so it seems like we're going to get something new from the I Am Blooded universe. We're not sure exactly what, whether it's going to be the side story or whether the story is going to be a prequel to the I Am Blooded offense, but this is the new gun and frame picture that they tease. So other than that, we don't have much to go after, but I suppose there's going to be some announcement coming out maybe tomorrow at Wonderfest or maybe early next week. So Bandai's final new Gunpla kit this week is actually Premium Bandai exclusive. This is the GMs from the White Dingo Corp. So if you're wondering what they're from, they're actually from the manga series of Operation Ground Zero, which uh, they've actually put up some of the chapters for free. You can read them for free online. I'll put up the links down below. Uh, but for me, I don't really quite like the normal GM version of the White Dingo. I kind of prefer the GM cannon version it looks a little bit more better with the cannon and of course in terms of the articulation i guess both kits are the same but for those of you who like uh, water decals on your kit i suppose this is the version to go but before i cap off this video i just want to share with you this is a uh, naoki science version of gm dominant so i know there's a lot of gm fans among you uh, of our fans here that love gm and collects them and complete a huge series of them so have any one of you actually made a gm dominance your own version uh, we do think that after looking at the gm dominance we are like wow this is probably why i should uh, get a gm and customize it into such detail and perfection as how naoki san has did so naoki san uh, as always we love your amazing what they just look very clean, very simple, but at the same time, quite detailed as well. So that's our video for Gunpla Friday today. Uh, let us know what you think is going to be the new announcement for Iron Blooded Orphans. We're not sure what's coming out. And of course, 
tomorrow being Wonderfest in Japan, hopefully Bandai will release a lot more news on Gunpla. We do know that for a fact they're going to be releasing Mazinga pictures, some new Star Wars kits, and also Yamato line, but they have yet so far been very quiet in terms of what they're going to be showcasing for Gunpla. So I guess we will see tomorrow. So stay tuned to our channel. We'll be covering one of fest tomorrow once news break. And as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments down below and have a great weekend ahead.